All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this HP model 17-BY1033DX. So first what you wanna do is remove the rubber feet on the bottom. So you just go underneath or use a pry tool and kind of just peel it up and then just peel it. Um, so after you peel off both the upper and lower rubber pieces, you'll wanna remove all the screws. They're Phillips screws, PH1 or or J1. So there's four here, and then there's another one here holding the CD drive. And then there's another two here, there's another two um, under this rubber thing, and then there's one more at the bottom here. Once you do that, you can pop the CD drive out, so just slide it out. If it's stuck, um, you might want to flip it over and then pull it out, because sometimes this will get caught on the top. So just pull it out just like that, all right. Underneath here, there's two more screws. You'll want to remove those two screws. Okay, so once you got all the screws removed, then you'll want to put it up on its side, open it slightly, and in between the gap, um, you'll see that it separates here. So use your fingernails or a pry tool, and then just go along just like this and pry it up, okay? I find it's easiest with fingernails. Um, and then just go all the way around. You'll have to go around this side first, the side without the CD drive. Okay, the side with the CD drive will kind of be stuck. So to get that out, um, the CD drive and then the two uh, back sides here, um, you'll want to use a small thin pry tool. And then at the back, I don't know if you can see this, but you get between the two layers, okay, with the pry tool and then you just pry this out just like this, okay? So as you can see, it pops out just like that. And then you can go along and you can undo the clips for the back. And then same thing with the other side here. You'll use the pry tool, get the pry tool in, closer to the, the corner, not in the middle, and then you can pry it up, all right? Just like that, all right, there we go. And then once you got all of those, um, sides out except for the CD drive. You can use the extra uh, wiggle room to be able to lift this. So while you're lifting this, um, you can actually get in between here. Let me see here. So you can actually get between the two layers here and then you can kind of lift it up and then kind of pull it this way as well. So once you do that, then you can get the whole cover off just like this. All right, once you got the cover off, you'll see the battery. The battery is held in place with uh, four screws. So there's uh, one screw that'll be here, another one here, and then two will be at the bottom corners of the battery. Once you do that, you can pull this out. To be safe, I would always um, press and hold the power button. Um, now that the cover's off, you wanna be careful opening the laptop because the hinges aren't held as strong. So what I do is I'll slide my hands as close to the bottom of the hinges, use my thumbs to kind of put pressure on the hinges while I twist it open, okay? Just like that, and then you can use your finger to kind of push the screen down. All right, just like that. Then you can, now that you have it open enough, you can hold the power button. So I'll hold the power button, make sure to drain any power. All right, and then when closing it, um, you just push back down on the hinges, okay? Don't push on this because you can break the screws that mount it. All right, it's so just like that, and you got it closed. So underneath, you can see there's a two and a half inch um, SATA hard drive. So there's a little latch here that holds this cable in place to remove it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in there. Um, and then to remove the hard drive, looks like you lift up from the front. So to remove it, you'll actually have to take this out. So flip this latch. And then after that, you can lift this cable and kind of wiggle it out. All right, so it looks like there's some tape holding this. So so I don't have to remove that. What I'm gonna do is um, at the edge here, I'll use my fingernail for the connector and then I'll use my nail to kind of pry it just like that. So that way you can actually leave this connector in place. You don't have to worry about the adhesive or damaging anything removing that, okay? So I'll put this connector back in. All right, once you remove that connector, you can lift from the front and the hard drive will come out just like this. Okay, so if you need to replace it, there's a two and a half inch SATA hard drive, you can replace it with an SSD. Um, and then this piece just comes out like this. There's some little 
um, parts that go into the screw holes. So you just kind of pull it outwards and you can take it out. Okay. So that's how you would replace the hard drive. Um, the USB board has its own separate connector here. So if something happens to this, you can replace this board alone. Um, and then let me put this back. So the hard drive again, you have to put the back first and then just slot it down. All right, put this connector back on. All right, then you can see the keyboard connector here. All right, there's the optical drive. There's a connector that goes underneath. Uh, let's see here. So it looks like this connector um, for the USB board, it actually goes underneath. So it's, let me see if I can get this out without removing the adhesive. You might have to use like a screwdriver or something to kind of flex the cable a little bit so that way you can bend it and get less slack. Okay, so yeah, this board for the, key, uh, for the USB uh, board, it goes underneath. So if you need to take that out, you'd have to open that up. All right, so I'll put the keyboard connector back in. The keyboard looks like it's um, actually held in place with melted plastic. So if you need to replace the keyboard, you'll most likely have to replace the whole top palm rest assembly and transfer the screen and everything over. Um, you got the wireless card here. There's only one antenna. You can pry up the antenna from the back and that'll pop it up from the tail. Don't try and pry it from the front here. Okay, there's one screw. When you undo this, it'll go up at an angle and then you can wiggle it out. All right, then we got the, there's actually an M.2 SSD slot here. This is a newer computer, so I'm guessing it will support uh, NVMe PCIe SSDs, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, you can see there's the separate touchpad buttons, so there's a cable for that, and then a separate cable for the trackpad, touchpad itself. The CPU is soldered in place, just like all the other new computers or new laptops. And then there's two slots for RAM. They're only using one. And this RAM is a PC4 2400T. So if you wanted to upgrade it, 8 gigs is usually more than enough for most people. So you don't really need to upgrade it. Then you can see there's the fan here. Looks like there's two screws holding it in place. And then you can take the fan out. The fan connector is right here. Um, just be careful with the wire for the wireless antenna. Then you got the two speakers here. So I don't see the wire for this antenna or the speaker. Okay, it looks like the speaker wire goes underneath the fan all the way here. So to replace the speaker, if you need to, you'd have to take the motherboard out too. The speaker connector is here. And then you got the LCD connector right here. And then you got the DC jack connector right here. So to remove the DC jack, it looks like you just take the screws out for the hinge and you can pry the hinge up and then you can take the DC jack out. Um, but that's pretty much it. I don't see much else on this board to mention. Um, so yeah, hopefully this video helped you. Um, um, if it did, please remember to like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thanks for watching. All right, bye.